Hello everyone, it's Nick here, and um, I'm going to tell you guys a bit about my weekend. Uh, I went to SakuraCon, oddly enough, because I'm not really an anime person. I mean, I like it, but um, I ended up going, though, because me and my dad had to drop some stuff off for my sister. She was staying at the hotel there, and she brought some stuff at home, and so while we were there, we thought, well, we might as well look around. So we bought ourselves weekend passes, and uh, we went down there, and... Uh, you know, we looked through some stuff, but uh, for, unfortunately, by the time we got there, we didn't have much time left before like the vendors closed. So, uh, but we ended up staying around, you know, maybe till like nine. I ended up getting home at like eleven o'clock. So, uh, but uh, you know, meanwhile, I was uh, there. They they had like a little mini arcade upstairs, and uh, they didn't really have a lot. They had like a racing game for Initial D, and then they had a. Uh, uh, then they had like a bunch of Dance Dance Revolution games, they had Rock Band. Anyways, I played this Dance Dance Revolution clone, I forgot the name of it. It wasn't like by Konami or anything, but uh, I played it and I liked it, but man, it gave me a good workout. Um, too bad I can't afford to buy one of those, because I would. You know, it'd be nice to work out and stuff, good exercise. So yeah, I went there, and then I, later that, you know, later I ended up going to like a there was like a panel that my sister was in because she likes Italian stuff and I think she was like doing Germany and stuff and uh, so we stayed, you know, we stuck around for that. Then I went to Gameworks because it was like right across the street and uh, it's too bad they got rid of the F-Zero arcade because uh, um, one, I only had to like unlock one track before, you know, I had everything from that, from the arcade. Because what you could do is you could put your... GameCube memory card for F0 GX in there and you can like get like bonus content and stuff and you can unlock it in the game itself but the problem is you can't uh you know like the problem is that you have to beat the game on like really hard modes and stuff and it's like I'm not gonna go through that and uh yeah I only had like I think like a certain Mute City track to unlock or something like that and um never ended up getting it I don't remember what happened last time I was at GameWorks but uh Anyways, the worst part about it, though, is that I, he I heard that there's only 48 of them in the U.S., so, I mean, that's not a whole lot, but I looked around the whole place. They did not have it, unfortunately, which kind of sucks. I was, like, probably my favorite game there, but, oh, well, what are you going to do? Um, then me and my dad were playing this Hummer one where, like, the arcade actually moves, which is pretty cool. Then I was playing Afterburner Climax, which reminded me of Terminator 2, where, um... John Connor's playing, you know, he's playing the one, the afterburner where, you know, you sit inside and the thing actually moves. That's pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, it was playing a lot of different stuff. Um, and then, yeah, we came back on Sunday and, uh, you know, yesterday, Easter. So, oh, yeah, happy Easter, everyone. Happy Passover, all that good stuff. Um, anyways. So, I, there was something I saw at SakuraCon, it's like, well, I, you know, I, I think I want to get that, and, you know, because I wasn't sure when I first saw it. So, we go back, you know, to go get the thing, and I asked the guy, alright, how much do you want for it? And he's like, 45 bucks, and it's like, really? You know, that's kind of a rip-off, if you ask me. And what was it, you ask? Well, it was like a, like a Left 4 Dead backpack, or whatever, but it was shaped like the first aid kit. And I thought, oh, that's pretty cool, but it's like, 45 bucks, and it wasn't all that big, it was probably like, this, you know, this tall and this wide, so it's like, you know, I'm not paying that much for that shit, so it's like, fuck you, you know, I'm not, I'll make sure never to buy from you guys, um, and then, I only got two things there, though, both video game related, um, well, the game store that I've been to a few times from Tacoma, they were there, and I bought a couple games, or, one of them's technically not really a game, but, uh, uh, the first thing I got is, uh, a pro action replay, for the Super Famicom. This will actually allow you to play Super Nintendo games on, you know, the Super Famicom, which is pretty cool. But it's also used as a cheat device, and since I make cheat codes for Super Nintendo games and a few other consoles, I thought, oh, this would be a cool little tool for me, you know, actually utilize them on the Super Nintendo. The only bad thing about this is it's kind of hard to operate. Now, see, there's three switches on the side, and you have to have this thing in the up position in order to activate the thing so you can enter, enter the codes. Then you have to then you have to push the thing down in order or no, you, you have it down to activate, then you push it up in order to 
you know, activate the codes in game. The problem is though, you know, you got to be really careful because the thing's really touchy. Where if you, like, if it moves too much, you know, it's gonna freeze the game or crash it or whatever. So it's pretty damn hard to operate. Not because the codes are hard or anything, but because you know you got to move the switch, but at the same time you can't actually move the cartridge, or else you're in trouble. So. Um, I got this for 20 bucks, which is a good deal. Then I got a, uh, I, I wanted the, the Famicom version, but I can't seem to find it anywhere. But this game is called Sansara Naga. This one's kind of unique, because like, the, you think the back of this box shows you like a description of the game and stuff, but nope, it's just the same thing, except it's a girl on there, I don't know. But um, yeah, I heard this game's pretty good. I tried playing through the Famicom version on an emulator, I cannot even figure it out, and GameFAQ doesn't have a guide for it, and it doesn't sound like, Sam, I've, there's a forum on there called the NES Fact Completion Project, and it doesn't sound like anyone's going to work on that, so that sucks, but, uh, oh well, this was 15 bucks, so yeah, total it's 35 bucks. Then I got a couple CDs, I got, uh, I got Sting, Mercury, Falling, I used to have it, I don't know where the hell it went now, but now, since I take care of CDs and I rip them, see them like on my computer, you know, it's all good. Then I got this one, and the guy, and by the way, I bought these both at Pike Place, but uh, the, I ended up getting this one for free, Pearl Jam, it's a CD single for Oceans, and this was five bucks. No, the Sting one was six, I think. No, no, it was five. Anyways, um, and the reason why I got it for free is because the condition of the disc, he, the guy looked at it and it's like, oh yeah, that's, it's terrible, but uh, yeah, I don't know if you guys can see the quality, but it, it's pretty, there's like some pretty deep ass scratches. Now, um, I, I did try to play the CD and it started skipping on like the third track. The first two tracks though sound good, so we've got Oceans, then three live tracks, Why Go, Deep, and Alive, so that's pretty interesting. But oh well, I mean, you get what you pay for, I guess. I'm not complaining. Um, oh yeah, and then I got this little keychain, because I needed another keychain, and uh, I decided, you know, yeah, I'll get one. So I got this from Pink Gorilla. It was four bucks, but it's got Donkey Kong Jr. Famicom cartridge. It was, I guess, it was the only one they had left. So I had to wait a few days for this though to get shipped and to their other store. So yeah, pretty cool. Um, and then today I was trying to play guitar, and then the fucking string that I just replaced ended up breaking again. So. Clear tone, I'm not buying your shitty products again. And I wasn't even playing that hard either. I mean, I, I know you can't go too hard or else the string is going to break. Yeah, but, I mean, man, this is terrible. It just broke again. I tried, I tried to tune it again because, like, it's not like it snapped off or anything. And, like, the string itself didn't break. But, uh, it, it did, like, fuck up. And I don't think I can retune it again because every time I try, it keeps resetting. So, I, you know... I'll turn it up a little bit. See, so it keeps going back. See, so it's kind of a lost cause, unfortunately. So, I'm gonna have to fucking wait till this weekend until I get, you know, another one. But I'm not buying clear tone again, I can tell you that. And even then, the fucking strings sound like shit, too. So, um, there, there really wasn't a point. Maybe I could cheat and use, like, I don't know, the E string or something for that. I don't. I don't know, to replace it, I don't know, but it's probably not a good idea. I still have my electric. I actually haven't played my electric in a long time. I've been enjoying the acoustic just fine, but uh, I want to try like playing publicly somewhere. I don't know if you need like a permit for that or not, but I th you probably do. You know, judging from Wayne's world. <laughs> so yeah, it's about everything that happened with me, um, and. I'm dealing with a bit of a personal crisis, you know, it's kind of personal stuff, and uh, I'm not going to go into detail, but uh, I'm hoping shit gets better. I mean, it's not like, you know, everything's like terribly wrong, but it's pretty bad, um, and I'll let everyone know what it is when I'm ready to talk about it. I, th I probably already did, and I don't even know it, but uh, anyways, um, so yeah. And then, uh, oh yeah, I forgot to mention my internet wasn't working for a few days because our um, router went down the shitter, but uh, it's back up now, obviously, otherwise I wouldn't be uploading this video. So, yeah, that's about all I want to say. Um, and just, yeah, so this weekend's kind of, it's gone good, but it's at its moments, you know. But I might go to Sakura Con again. 
So, uh, I, I actually got a few pictures taken on my Facebook if you want to see. One of them's with like a Gundam, which I think is pretty cool. Anyways, I'm going to go before this video gets too long or runs out of film. So, I'll see you guys later. Peace out and have a good one.